breaking news. All the whole faces and all the whole names that have been involved in the detention of Mazen Namdekano, even when the court says, free him, let him go. All their names and their faces have been revealed. I mean, they have been exposed. Hear their names in details. But before then, remember the campaign for all hell Biafra. Biafra to the moon. In Biafra we stand, and on the mandate of Mazen Namdekano, we shall stand. It's still going on. Continue writing, continue commenting, continue typing, because the world or the international community is watching, and they know how serious we are. So, do, please do not forget to drop your own line as you watch any of the content from now onwards. Biafra to the moon, all hey Biafra, and continue writing on the uh, mandate of Mazen Namdekano, we all shall stand. I pop to the moon. Presidency are the one holding Mazen Namdekano and not the Supreme Court or DSS. This is a very strong allegation and a strong revelation from the special counsel uh, uh, of uh, Mazen Namdekano and I pop, which is uh, Aloysius Ejimako. Well, my wonderful people, before we proceed, I beg, I would like you to like, comment, uh, share. Make sure you turn on the notification button, be notified time we go live or post something on this channel. Or another channel later to Okute Daily Talk. Let us go straight to the reason why we are here. Happy Saturday and good morning to you all. Before I forget. Anyway, please, please before then, remember the campaign for that slogan, All Hell Biafra, is still on. Continue typing and com continue dropping your lines. No cause for alarm. Aloysius Ejimako, special counsel to Mazen Namdekano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipogo, on Friday, identified those behind the continued incarceration of the Biafran agitator. Ejimako claimed that the presidency is holding the agitator and not the Supreme Court, nor the DSS. He disclosed this while certain that the Fulani government cannot continue to detain Kano with the release of Yoruba Nation agitator Sunday Iboho. Hosting on X, on X, Ejimako alleged that the Yoruba leaders facilitated Ibuho's release. According to Ejimako, the persisting incarceration of Maze Namdekano has become more unsustainable with the release of Sunday, a day or more popularly known as Sunday Ibuho, especially as it was done with the support of Yoruba leaders and the Tunumbu at official bars. To be sure, it is the presidency that is holding Maze Namdekano, not the Supreme Court. Recently, Ibuho regained freedom after two years in Benin's prison after he fled Nigeria due to a declaration by the Department of State Service, DSS, declared him wanted. At about the same time Ibuho was arrested, Kano was also picked up in Kenya and subjected to extraordinary rendition. And why don't they rendition uh, Ibuho to Nigeria? Simply because they don't see the Biafrans and the Ibos finish. Anyway, I am one of you crying. Only to go to Kabiama. I be our mouth. God has been detained. Oh, sorry, Kano has been detained by the DSS while he continued his trial since returning to Nigeria or since they deported him to Nigeria or since he was abducted in Kenya and rendition to Nigeria. Another news, though, this one is under Nigerian politics. He was also former commissioner, which is head. The threat was over contract costs. The special advisor on media and the publicity, publicity to Governor Alex Oti, Ferdinand Ekoma, and the former Commissioner for Trade and Investment in OKZ Pazos administration, John Okiyi Kalo, are back to media war. Okiyi Kalo, who also served as a Commissioner for Information under the immediate past administration in the state, recently used his social media handle to question the cost of some road construction contracts awarded by the administration of Governor Alex Choma Oti. Carlo further called for the publication of funds coming into the state from the federal allocation in the newspapers, which, according to him, would tally with Governor Oti's pre election campaigns. But reacting to the demands, the special advisor on media and publicity to Governor Alex Oti, Mr. Ferdinand Ekoma, said that the present government does not need any media propaganda to tell Abia residents his achievements. A common who voted Carlos claim that the former governor he served was transparent in his financial dealings alleged that 
or half your local government area where Okie Kalo hails from allegedly received over 18 billion naira as allocation from the federation account during the eight years of the former administration. A commerce response reading part, one of the grounds for John Okie's Carlos infantile attacks on Governor Art Oti was that his government doesn't come on air and social media to announce and publish the amount of money received at monthly allocation. Let me remind him that monthly allocation is statutory and is published by the federal government, which shows what every state receives. So, which other publication is he talking about? What IBS expects from the state government is to use what is due to the state to work for IBS and not to dramatize on social media and on the pages of newspapers in the name of publications. Since we didn't see the economic and developmental impacts of such fake and uh, deceitful publications since 1999, he said. The media aid explained the state government was under obligation to publish budget implementations of virus MDS during the through the appropriate channels in line with the extant laws, uh, laws and rules, according to the spokesperson. Why I joined uh, the court called APC, Ifani Uba laments. Senator Ifani Chuku Uba said he decided to dump the Young Progressive Party and defer to all Poverty Congress, APC, because he wants the Southeast to align with the central government of Bola Ahmed Tunumbu nonsensical nonsense. Instead of you to join your own brother, the party that would do left for you people, which is a Afghan, and you join APC, another nonsense cult that can never move Nigeria forward. Uba said this when he visited the APC national chairman, Abdullah Iganduje, in a company of a Senate president, Goswila Babio, at the party's national secretariat in Abuja on Thursday. He appreciated the party's leadership for accepting him into his fold. Uba commended Bola Tunumbu for appointing David Umahe as the Minister of Works in spite of the party recording uh, low votes in the Southeast in the 2023 presidential selection. Our so-called president is rewarding even those who didn't vote for him. For that, it will be very difficult for any man with a conscience not to look at the direction of the center party. I don't see anyone who will oppose my coming into the APC, he said. Oba added that they consulted widely with his political family and critical stakeholders in the Southeast before defecting to APC. The only thing they are fighting now is how to take Anambara. That is the only thing. That is the only reason why you see them joining APC or whatever it is. The only thing that stops you from not getting anything. They want to join APC because you know that it's a party that deals on, a, on, 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 on dubious characters and the fake peoples everywhere. It is not all about talking. It is about doing. I believe in the action. Uh, the so-called Mrs. President, just take it from me. I am going to deliver. <laughs> I have made my complaint to the so-called President in front of the Senate President and uh, he has graciously given me his word that he will support me. I want to be sincere. It has always been difficult for the Igbo people to key into the National Party because of our sentiments and emotions. Our so-called president is a politician who understands how it pains and how to console everybody. He has that capacity, according to Ifa Nichuku Uba, the betrayer. Ganduje, while receiving Uba, said he was the biggest politician that had joined the party since he assumed office as the APC chairman. This is the biggest fish I have gotten, Ganduje said. He expressed optimism that with Obama's defection, the party will soon take over the Southeast in the coming elections. Have you seen it? That is the plan, to make Nigeria a one-party state. NBA forms as two lawyers. They don't fight with the so in any good court. Hey, our people, what did they happen? Though? This is why I don't they break a bottle. Very soon now, when I could begin to shoot the gun, my hand no though. It was a show of shame at the customary court in uh, Obupa town, Soka local government area of Enugu State. As two lawyers got into a physical fight, the action of the lawyers left litigants and court officials bewildered. It was not clear what led to the squabble, but other lawyers and the court officials made frantic efforts to control the situation. A viral video obtained by Daily Post on Thursday 
show the two lawyers lifting chairs and shouting on top of their voices. The two lawyers, names with head, are both from the area. As the altercation worsened, one of the lawyers was heard saying, he is very small boy, he is a mad man. The second lawyer warned, touch me again and you will see what I will do to you. Who taught you? Look at this madman. The first lawyer said. He later started walking out of the courtroom. Look at you. You have bleached yourself like a fool. You have bleached yourself like a woman. The second lawyer said to his colleague, retreating figure. When the Lipos reached out to the chairman of the Nigerian Bar Association, Unsoka Branch, Barista Ferdinand Ugochuku Ukweze, he described the action of the lawyers as embarrassing as ever. The bar is trying to find out what happened that led to that unfortunate display of uh, some recklessness. We are looking into it, really, he said. When asked whether there will be sanctions, Ukweze answered in the affirmative. According to him, certainly because it doesn't represent the nobility with which we are known. Once we got to the root of the matter, the bar at the national level, our disciplinary committee, we step in and do what and do the necessary things. According to the, the bar, the head of the Nigerian Bar Association in Enugu or in Soka branch. Where my wonderful people uh now here, me I go take bar break. I will be back again. Oh, now here I go sign out. But remember the campaign and the slogan that still stands oh, all held Biafra, Biafra to the moon, and in the mandate of Martin Nam Kano, we all shall stand. And Biafra must surely survive. So, anyway, we go fit type, oh, I beg, make you try type in the comment section. I'll be right back again with another blockbuster. Remember, today is going to be back to back. Eh? Bang, bang, ding, ding, also there at the behind, at the back. So, my wonderful Biafran brothers and sisters, eh? now here, me, I go text up, oh, like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for better and more interesting videos as we proceed. Have a nice day, my good Lord bless you all. Uh, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and Chukokia Bama, also, we take the glory. Bye for now, my wonderful people. Kemesiano. Okay,